Okay, in today's video, we're going, to be, we're going to be painting the back. I've made a rough sketch of everything, but I will be having to add details in afterwards because I'm going to paint all the sections white and then go back over. So we're going to follow the same colour scheme as I did for the front. So first we start with white and then black, yellow, olive, burnt sienna, red, and those are the colours I'm going to keep out for now. Uh, first we have to put down a white layer so that the colours will be nice and opaque. I've made a fallout playlist if you guys want to see me painting the front cover. In this video we'll, we'll be lining the front cover as we had to wait for all the paint to dry. I wasn't planning on doing such a big paint for the back cover but then I decided to introduce characters. I'm going to introduce them arriving on an elevator taking them to different floors and the elevator has a touch screen computer that allows you to get your file up and other people's files and this is where I'm going to put the little um, like profile for the person, what I've done on the front cover, where I include all their details. So I thought I'd do it on the back for myself. I'm going to include some different details and what I include on the front. So if you guys want to be a part of this fallout shelter, head over to my Instagram, Shaw underscore comics, where I'm going to be posting on my story about this shelter and when I do I'll ask you guys to uh, message me and I'll just pick at random uh, who will be included. The first person I'm including is my boyfriend as he messaged me asking. If you want to help support this channel, head over to my Patreon, where you get early access. And we'll get to see these videos before anyone else. I'm going to quickly sketch in a little bit more for my person. So I think first I'm going to paint my character. And this will be the most frustrating bit and um, hard bit. I'm just gonna zoom in for you guys. To get a better look. I'm gonna shade anywhere that I feel needs a bit of shading. Paintings always look strange to begin with. I just don't like getting everything into the right spots and there's a lot of glue back and forth layering and changing and sometimes stuff looks good in a sketch but it doesn't look good in a painting as I don't do as many details as I do in sketches normally I should put in a gap between the fingers so under the leg there will just be a shadow as I imagine no light would get on it as the light source is coming down so this is going to be a nice like practice on how to do light sources as I'm always trying to improve as I don't think I'm anywhere near really good at working out light sources 
I normally just do like basic shading and head neck will be shaded as the hair is blocking anyone. Now we're going to do the hair, which we do the darkest colour first. Now I've got some bits hanging down. And now, the blonde, we're going to put the ponytail in. And coming from there, we're going to blend some blonde out. And to make it clear, I'm going to blob some blonde there. I don't need that much blonde. It's just to show is tied up from this point. The other side of the head not there. And a bit of brown to make it look tied up. Now we're gonna do the dress. So the fallout videos are gonna be on Mondays replacing the normal tutorial videos. But if you guys still want to see tutorial videos, just leave it in the comments and I'll start doing them again. I might just have to put them on a different day or shuffle between doing uh, the Fallout videos. Uh, yeah, Fallout paintings and tutorial paintings. I probably will shuffle anyway, depending on how burnt out I get doing one or the other, or if maybe I don't have time to do one or the other. We're going to start with the grey areas. I'm going to paint the floor first. So when I do do these like big grey areas, I don't try and blend all in, as I like the paint effect. So it makes it less look less boring. And this is meant to be like a metal floor, so metal floors have loads of different twinges and rusty parts. Uh, I think it just adds character to the room. So something I've noticed is the shoes are blending in a bit. So I will have to sort that out. I just grabbed a smaller paintbrush to go around some of these tricky corners. So I'm using a darker grey to make a shadow around my person to help sculpt out these shoes as well. Each person that gets into the elevator, the ceiling will change and the compute a bit as its job is to keep everyone calm and the vault is trying to keep everyone calm uh, sorry if you hear any background noise my family's in the whole point of the vault though is you guys will have most control over it and why add into it the reason that I'm making the cards grey is because I don't want them to do too much. I'm keeping a lot of paint lines and not blending everything out. As I personally like that look. So making the inside of the clouds a light grey. And around the edges a dark grey. Now we're going to add the stars in. And I'm just blobbing them about. Try to keep some spread out. Some clustered, not really a theme. Add some white to some yellow to make it really bright. That moon lighting in. Yeah, we're gonna give it a nice bright yellow. I'm keeping all the colours linking together again, like we did on the front. I've got 10 different paintbrushes for this video. It's going to 
need to be a phone cleaner. I'm using that same colored gray to uh, color the doors. By doing a lot of gray, it draws your attention to the colors. So a lot of the shelter I'm going to be painting in the book will be grey but then the character is going to be nice bright colours or anything I want you guys to notice will be a nice bright colour because it's not going to be like black and white it's just going to be a lot of dull colours I'm using Grammar 4, I'm just going to add in the belt, I'm using my shoes. Okay, uh, so I've just been making all of this uh, yellow, uh, as is where the light's coming from, and I'm adding these boxes for where I'm going to write so if you've enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you want to see more really does help okay we're going to try and do this as straight as I can Oh, that is not stopped up straight. Hey, not too bad. Now for the other side. I, mean, I never start off straight. I don't think that's too bad. So all I've done is made little boxes around the things and now we're going to start writing in them. You're going to get handheld footage because I thought I could get a closer look if I did it like this. It might be a little shaky but that's not too bad. So, probably not going to be that interesting but I speed over it anyway, so it won't seem that long to you guys. But it takes me a long time. <laughs> I'm just writing random facts about myself. Oh, I've got a lot of paint on me. I'm just gonna make sure I don't put it anywhere else. What should we draw in the last one? I don't know if you guys can see. It says finding help one mile. Um, I think that's everything I want to add. I think I'm going to sign it. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and don't forget to check out my Patreon and my Instagram. Bye!